Hi kindergarteners! This book is called The Rabbit Listen by Corey Dowerfeld. I have a lot of connections with this story, so I think it's why I like it so much. The dedication it has initials. It says, for CC, JB, SAF, and everyone rebuilding. The rabbit listened. One day, Taylor decided to build something. Something new. Something special. Something amazing. Taylor was proud. But then, out of nowhere, friends, what happened? Oh my goodness. Things came crashing down. Look at Taylor's face. Think of some things that he might be feeling. Oh, I know that Miss um, Spitz has talked to us about this. When you put your head down and you're close like this, it probably means you are in the blue zone maybe the yellow zone, probably the blue zone. <clears throat> the chicken was the first to notice. Cluck, cluck, what a shame. I'm so sorry, sorry, sorry this happened. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. Cluck, cluck. But Taylor didn't feel like talking. So the chicken left. Next came the bear. Rawr, rawr, how horrible! I bet you feel so angry! Let's shout about it! Rawr, rawr, rawr. But Taylor didn't feel like shouting. So the bear left. The elephant knew just what to do. Trumpeta, I can fix this. We just need to remember exactly the way things were. But Taylor didn't feel like remembering. So the elephant also left. One by one, they came. The hyena, hee hee, let's laugh about it. The ostrich, go, let's hide and pretend nothing happened. The kangaroo, tisk tisk, what a mess, let's throw it all away. And the snake, shh, let's go knock someone else's. But Taylor didn't feel like doing anything with anybody. So eventually, they all left. Until Taylor was alone. In the quiet, Taylor didn't even notice the rabbit but it moved closer and closer until Taylor could feel its warm body. Together, they sat in silence until Taylor said, please stay with me. The rabbit listened. The rabbit listened as Taylor talked. The rabbit listened as Taylor shouted. The rabbit listened as Taylor remembered and laughed. 
The rabbit listened to Taylor's plans to hide, to throw everything away, to ruin things for someone else. Through it all, the rabbit never left. And when the time was right, the rabbit listened to Taylor's plan to build again. I can't wait, Taylor said. It's going to be amazing. And that is the end of The Rabbit Listened. I always feel really good after I read this story. And I hope you do too. Bye kindergarten.